this is how to score a deer a deer head this is a deer I tagged out on new season this year he scored 160 let's see if we can get that first we're gonna start off with a main bean This main beam scored 19. We're still on the left side, and now we got the left brow time. So you measure right, come a little closer in. You measure about right where the antlers connect, and this one is four and a half. So get my pencil, write that down on my paper. four and a half then we got the g2 which is the second point besides the brow time which is right here then you get the tape same around the same spot that's try and fit it around that slack and that's six and a half Then we got the G3, which is the next point. Six. Now we got this point right here. Five inches. So I'll write down five. Then it point has to be an inch to measure. So let's see if this little guy's an inch. Yep, it makes an inch. Inch and one quarter, actually. Not quite an inch. So we didn't make an inch on that. So now we got the mass measurements. We're not done on the left side. We got the mass measurements. So we start on the base. We wrap it around. which we got four and a half on this mass measurement. So you want it to be all the way around, nice and tight on there, and we got four and a half on this. Now we got the second one. Which is four and a half. And that you can only go up to four no matter how many points you have, you can only go up to four. So that's one, then two. Then I'm gonna come back here because I forgot this step, which is three and a half. So right there's three and a half. So that's three. Now our fourth one, no matter if it's a spike or a 30 pointer, it doesn't matter. You still have to do that. And that one's four. You can only go up to four mass measurements. That's all you can do. Now we're going to go to the right side. I mean, the yeah, the right side. And we're going to measure the main beam here. Now this one's 19 and a half. Now we're gonna do the G1, which is the brow time. Start there right at the end. This one's kind of hard because it's bent four and a half. Now 
And we got this one. Barely makes the one. You can see where that antler's starting to stick through. It's right on top of the one. Now we go to the G2, which is pretty good on this side. Same as the other side, but 10 inches on it. That's really good. Now we got this one, which is even taller. 10 still, just a little bit taller. Now we got this split right here. You see, you measure it right where it comes out, which I would say comes out about right here. Eight. Six. Time to go on to the mass measurement on this guy. Four and a half. We go above the brow time. Three and a half. And we go right in between here. Four and a half again. Then we're gonna go right in between this one for our fourth and final one on this side which is four. Now this is the last step. You find the widest part of the spread. So I would look through every time. So this one's, you measure it to the inside to inside. So that would be 16. That one's 17. 17 is the furthest on this deer, so. We'll write 17. Now, see all these scores. Now we're going to add all these up on a calculator on our phone, and then we'll show you the final result. 162 is our final product. And that is how you score a deer. Like and subscribe if you stayed this far in the video for more deer for more hunting stuff